What's up, everybody? West Coast Stacker here. Um, so this is my uh, first video here on YouTube for uh, stacking. So just kind of wanted to uh, give an overview of what my stack's looking like. Obviously, not a whole lot yet. And uh, tell a little bit about myself. Uh, first of all, I guess tell you what I'm drinking right now. It's a Slayer Winter Ale. It's a seasonal release from Nikasi out of Oregon. And uh, bought it around Christmas time, and it's been sitting in my fridge, and decided, well, shit, why not uh, drink it right now? So, uh, anyways, um, as you probably gather from the name West Coast Stacker, I live on the uh, west coast of the United States. I'm in the uh, Seattle area of Washington, and... Uh, yeah, this is what my stack's looking like. I uh, guess we'll start here with the uh, Constitutional or Junk Silver, whatever you want to call it. Got a couple rolls of dimes. And I have 10 full rolls of quarters. It's 40 quarters in each roll. I also have some dimes, a couple silver war nickels, and some more quarters. These are all just uh, Junk Silver that I have found in my change over the years um let's see here i do have some silver eagles these ones as you can see they've got a little toning on them these were given to me on my uh, 10th birthday i was born in 87 so there's one for 87 for the year i was born and one for 97 for my 10th birthday so i've had those for well quite a while now obviously um let's see here where do we go next uh Let's start with the first precious metal I ever bought, which would be this gram and a half of gold right here. This was the, uh, those are two little quarter gram buttons, I guess you'd call them. And then a one gram bar, Istanbul Gold Refinery. I bought these on eBay Try to focus on that. Bought these on eBay back in 08 when gold was at 400 and something dollars an ounce. Uh, at the time, I had been watching the gold and silver charts for a while, and I had a feeling gold was about to go up. I didn't have a whole lot of money to invest at the time, and <laughs> that's all I could spare was to buy a gram and a half. Uh, little did I know, you know, only a few short months after that. Gold was at over 800 an ounce, and now gold's over $1,500 an ounce. So, obviously, hindsight's 2020. It would have been nice to have foreseen that at the time and had more money to invest, and could have made it. Could have made a decent amount of money. But, anyways, that's what got me into precious metals. Um, you know, other than these ones that I had been given a long time ago. That was my first actual purchase of my own. Uh, my first purchase of silver uh, was these Horaeus one ounce bars. Go ahead and try to unfold this here. Uh, there's 20 of them here. Bought these online back in 2011 um, when gold was on its rise to almost $50 an ounce. And obviously bought them a little on the high end of price. I didn't, luckily I didn't buy them at $50 an ounce, but it was, I think in the thirties. So yeah, uh, that was my <laughs> first venture in and not too long after that, that's when silver went back down and obviously silver sitting at about $18 an ounce as of today. Um, let's see what else do we have here? Um, uh, as far as what I like to stack, obviously you see, I have a lot of constitutional silver. Um, I like constitutional silver and I like generic silver. Um, every once in a while, I like to splurge a little bit and buy something a little more fancy, I guess you'd say, uh, like these graded, uh, pandas I have here. Bought these on eBay this past year in 2019. I uh, got a pretty good deal on them, so 
pulled the trigger on that and bought those because they were cool looking and figured why not. And uh, yeah, let's see here. Same with uh, these kookaburras I bought this year too. I got a decent deal on these. These 2018 kookaburras. I really like these. They're uh, real high relief. They're really uh, pretty, uh, pretty round. Um, let's see here. I also have. Uh, I really like these. These Scottsdale ten ounce silver stackers. I just like. I like the heft of these ten ounce bars and how they stack together. I have uh, four of these currently. They're uh, really a high quality product in my view. I got two that are in really good shape and then the uh, other two have a little little tarnishing on the edges, but you know, I also, as you can tell, I'm not wearing gloves. I know some, some of these guys here on YouTube, you guys like to wear gloves when you handle your silver. I like to, you know, I like to feel the silver in my hands. I'm not too worried about you know, tarnishing. Anything that I'm worried about tarnishing is, you know, in plastic already like this. Or, you know, is slabbed. Or in a tube. Um, let's see here. I got these, uh, got these from my uh, local coin shop. These are uh, Northwest Territorial Mint 5 ounce bars. Bought these back during the summer. Um, bought some for my uh, younger brother too. He got married this summer. So bought some for him for a wedding present. Oh, and I wanted to say too, as far as, like I said, I bought these back in 2011. And I bought my original pieces of gold here back in 08. As far as my stacking adventure beginning, um, didn't really start stacking until um, really around midway through 2019 is when I actually started, you know, getting more stuff, getting more of this, all of this stuff, all of this, just about everything you see here, actually. I uh, didn't start getting that until about halfway through 2019 when I decided to kind of put a little more emphasis on stacking precious metals. Um, planning on stacking even more this year. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a goal of how many ounces I'd like to pick up this year. Uh, you know, maybe I'll figure that out at some point, but we'd just like to stack more. And, um, I just thought making videos would be kind of cool to, uh, show off to the uh, community on eBay and yeah, maybe get to know some of you guys on here. I know there's a lot of stackers out there, a lot of cool videos you guys have. So figured why not? I guess let's uh, let's look at what I have in these tubes here. So this one I got from my local coin shop as well. These are just it's just a roll of uh, these generic buffalo rounds. I'm sure you've all seen these. You know, just some generic silver. Got them for a good price, so I try to get everything for a good price. I mean, I guess we all do, right? <laughs> um, this right here is a tube of, I'm sure as you've guessed from the lid, a tube of Silver Eagles. They're all uh, 2017 Silver Eagles. I uh, picked these ones up, I uh, got a really good deal on eBay this past year on these, so couldn't pass it up for the price, so. Uh, let's see here. I want to do this one first. Yeah, and this one is just some Sunshine Mint rounds. Obviously, it's on a full tube. Let's get one of these out of here, maybe. Oh, 
Sunshine Mint and some Buffalo rounds. Sorry, there, that one's a Buffalo. Try to pull a Sunshine Mint round out of there. There we go. Um, these ones, I believe, are a little bit older. The newer ones have a um, little security deal here. But nonetheless, it's still an ounce of 999 fine silver. Ugh, just looked at my thumb. Sorry <laughs> about that. I uh, I do some work on motorcycles and bang up my fingers a lot. So, um, and then this last tube here. These ones are kind of interesting. Pick these up in my local coin shop as well. Back sometime in summer, um, they had a deal on generic silver. I think it was around like 29 cents above spot per ounce so i went down there and unfortunately i got down there after most of it had been picked clean through so this and i believe this that's also when i got those um sunshine rounds that are in that other tube i just showed you but i picked up these these ones are kind of interesting so these are from the boeing employees coin club and they are, how big were they again? They are one and a half ounce. If, let me see here if it'll focus. I'll try one that's not all banged up on the side. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that very well. It says 1.5 troy ounce, 999. Um, yeah, these are kind of interesting. Like I said, I'm in the Seattle area, so obviously Boeing's very prevalent here. So someone had a collection of these and sold them to the coin shop and I picked them up. Um, I mean, I don't work for Boeing or anything, but like I said, it was a, it was a good deal over spot. So, and you know, they're interesting. They all have different planes on them. So I thought it was kind of a unique historical deal. And the last one. So I guess I got, no, that's a different one than the other one. So yeah, there's those. Um, As, let's see here, as I mentioned earlier, I do have some gold other than this. Oh, and here's another random bar I bought from my local coin shop, and I bought just a random generic Atmex round from my local coin shop as well. And then these are, um, these Northwest Territorial Mint Pan American Silver Rounds. Pick those up in my local coin shop as well. Um, as far as my gold goes, well, here's some more Silver Eagles as well and Benjamin Franklin's. Uh, as far as gold goes here, I currently have two full ounces. I have a uh, quarter ounce maple leaf. What year is that? That is a 87. I have a quarter ounce Krugerrand, which I thought was kind of cool. I got a really good deal on both of these at separate times on eBay. This was from 1980. Um, actually got them for with an eBay Bucks promotion and um, using a credit card that had cash back. Um, I actually got them for under spot. I got all my gold for under spot. So. That's usually the only time I'll buy gold is if I can get it for spot or close to spot or under spot, then I'll definitely buy it. Um, we have a half ounce maple leaf. Twenty nineteen. 
And then I have a one ounce, let's get this kind of opened up here, one ounce maple leaf from 2003. And then, um, I mean, that's pretty much the majority. I mean, not the majority, that is the majority, that is all of my stack. Um, like I said, I'm planning on doing some more stacking this year, getting a little bit more aggressive with it. Um, silver is not the only kind of investing I do. I, I buy silver... Part of it I buy is, is a hedge against inflation like a lot of you guys do here on YouTube. But I also see it as more of an investment vehicle than that. Um, you know, I, it, if I get the opportunity to flip any of this it's at a given time and buy in cheaper at another time, uh, I wouldn't hesitate to do that with some of this silver. Um, some of it has a little more sentimental value, I guess, so... Like, you know, like these ones, I don't think I'll ever sell these ones just because I've had them forever. Um, but yeah, I'm, you know, I'm in it to collect it, but I'm also in it to make some money off of it, if at all possible. Obviously, as being a hedge against inflation, that's just a win in my book right off the bat. But if I can go beyond that and capitalize on it more, then why not? Um, I, you know, I also invest in the stock market. So this is uh, just a way of uh, diversifying my portfolio. Um, I did have one more thing that I didn't show yet that I wanted to kind of show. It's interesting. Um, I have this I bought on eBay. It's a uh, two Reichsmark coin from 1939 from, you know, Nazi Germany, obviously. Um I bought this. I do have a small collection of world coins. And I bought this because I got a good deal on it. This is 62.5% silver. I got a good deal on it. And um, I just think that World War II era is a very, very important uh, time timeline in history. And it really fascinates me. It always has since I was a kid. Uh, my great-grandfather served... In World War II, he uh, fought in Europe, and uh, yeah, I just, uh, I've always had a fascination, um, so I picked this up, and yeah, kind of an interesting um, timepiece. It's not getting a very good uh, picture of it there, sorry, there we go, it's a little bit better. It's a little worn, not too bad, but yeah, that's little bit about my stack and myself um yeah if you guys have any um comments critiques anything for me uh please leave it below in the comments and um i'm hoping to I'm supposed to be getting in i bought some coins i won't say what they are yet I'm supposed to be getting them in tomorrow i bought them on ebay and um one of those kind of deals where you know, something kind of like this where I splurged a little bit. Um, but they're really cool looking and figured why not. You know, got to have a little fun with it, of course. So, yeah, let me know what you think of my stack so far. And, yeah, you guys have a good night.